News presents Bacteria. Super bacteria found in waters off Rio de Janeiro. Researchers have discovered something very dangerous on five beaches in Brazil where upcoming Olympic events will take place. Water samples collected from Guanabara Bay in Rio de Janeiro in 2013 and 2014 showed the presence of a dangerous drug-resistant superbacteria. The five beaches infected include Ipanema, Leblon, Botafogo, Copacabana, and Flamingo. Another study showed the presence of the bacteria in the Rodrigo de Freitas Lagoon and in a river that empties into Guanabara Bay. The superbacteria has been classified by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control as an urgent public health threat. The bacteria is drug resistant and can kill up to half of the patients who suffer bloodstream infections. Experts believe the superbacteria entered the city's waterways through sewage that was channeled into the bay from local hospitals, where the bacteria thrives on stainless steel surfaces. The city had promised to clean its waterways as part of its bid for the Olympics. City officials said that 51% of the city's sewage has been treated, up from 11%, but nowhere near the 80% promised. Rio still has a long way to go before the Olympics. Contamination fears spark Ego Waffle recall. Kellogg recalled 10,000 cases of Ego Nutrigrain whole wheat waffles in 25 U.S. states on Monday due to potential risks of listeria contamination. Listeria monocytogenes bacteria is commonly found in soil and water. Vegetables can be contaminated with the bacteria from soil, while animals can carry it without appearing ill and can infect meat and dairy products. Once inside food, the bacteria can spread to processing facilities, where it can survive for years, multiplying and contaminating other products. The bacteria can even survive being frozen and can spread to the freezer where the contaminated food is stored. When a person eats food containing Listeria monocytogenes, the bacteria can spread in the body and cause an infection, with symptoms including fever and muscle aches. CRF Frozen Foods announced a nationwide recall of almost 360 frozen fruits and vegetables after a Listeria outbreak in May. Meanwhile, ice cream brand Bluebell recalled its products everywhere after a large Listeria outbreak last year. Nightmare Bacteria Spreading Across U.S. Hospitals Stay away from U.S. hospitals and stop dropping antibiotics like they're candy. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, nightmare bacteria that are resistant to almost all antibiotics are spreading across U.S. hospitals. The CDC found 221 cases in 2017 of a rare breed of antibiotic-resistant bacteria. One in four germ samples analyzed by the CDC found special genes that allow them to spread resistance to other bacteria. The CDC also said in 11% of people tested carried these superbugs without displaying any symptoms. People infected with these bacteria spread the disease to other people in the hospital, such as patients, doctors, and nurses. These people can then in turn act as silent carriers and infect others even if they don't become sick themselves. According to the CDC, every year about 2 million Americans are sickened from antibiotic-resistant infections, while more than 23,000 patients are killed. This solar panel runs on bacteria power. Researchers at Binghamton University have come up with an interesting way to harness energy using a resource we have far too much of, bacteria. To harness power from bacteria, scientists arrange nine biosolar cells in a three by three pattern to form a scalable and stackable panel. The cells use cyanobacteria, which can be found in aquatic and terrestrial habitats as a source of clean and sustainable energy. In the daytime, oxygen and electrons are released through photosynthetic reactions. At night, electrons are produced from the bacteria's respiratory activities. 5.59 microwatts were generated in 12-hour day-to-night cycles over a total of 60 hours. Solar panels produce about 200 watts in a 6x10 configuration. The biosolar cells in the same pattern will only generate 3.726 one hundred thousandth watts. Though not the most efficient, the technology has the potential to be a more reliable energy source. Once the panel is functional, it could power small wireless systems in remote areas where frequent battery changes are impractical. The Binghamton team's work has been published in the journal Sensors and Actuators B Chemical. 
parasites and bacteria like lurking in hotel pools. You know, all people do is number one and number two at hotel pools, right? You. According to the CDC's Morbidity and Mortality Weekly Report, hotel pools and hot tubs were linked to a third of all swimming-related disease outbreaks between 2000 to 2014. During that time, a total of 493 outbreaks linked to chlorinated or treated water were reported in 46 states and Puerto Rico. In total, the outbreaks led to over 27,000 illnesses and eight deaths. Cryptosporidium, also known as crypto, pseudomonas, and legionella were responsible for many of the outbreaks. Crypto is a parasite that can survive even in properly maintained pools. Pseudomonas and legionella are bacteria that can survive disinfectants in slimy areas of hot tubs, pools, and water parks. The CDC report also outlined tips on how to protect from germs while at the pool. The most common sense one being, don't drink the water, Einstein. Toxic shock syndrome explained. In 2012, model Lauren Wasser lost part of her right leg to a rare but potentially life-threatening condition, which she claims came courtesy of her tampon. Toxic shock syndrome is typically associated with menstruating women and is caused by toxins from the Staphylococcus aureus bacteria. TSS is linked with tampon use since the synthetic fibers and high absorbency provide the ideal breeding ground for the bacteria. Symptoms include gastrointestinal distress, a sudden high fever, low blood pressure, a sunburn-like rash, and redness of the eyes, mouth, and throat. Toxic shock progresses rapidly and can lead to kidney failure. Though fatal, it is treatable with antibiotics and fluids if diagnosed early. Another variety of the syndrome is caused by Group A Streptococcus bacteria, with those having cuts or burns or having had recent surgery especially at risk. Toxic shock syndrome is rare enough that there is little information on how to prevent the onset of the disease. For now, the best way is to clean any injuries and frequently replace tampons. Researchers develop new ways to fight superbugs. Drug-resistant superbugs have rendered many antibiotics ineffective. But now there's hope. Currently, the only treatment for bacterial infections is through the use of antibiotics, which, after passing through bacterial cellular walls, kill bacteria. However, bacteria over time can mutate to protect themselves, commonly through developing an efflex pump, which expels antimicrobial polymers. Researchers at UT Southwestern Medical Center in Texas have discovered a synthetic compound that blocks FX pumps, making superbugs once again vulnerable. And researchers at the University of Melbourne in Australia have developed a star-shaped peptide polymer which is non-toxic. This polymer can fight bacteria in multiple ways, including ripping apart the bacterial cellular wall, making it difficult for superbugs to become resistant. Both methods still need to be refined and both research teams are still working toward human trials. Scientists create ultra-tough antibiotic to fight superbugs. U.S. scientists have modified a 60-year-old drug to create an ultra-tough antibiotic. Researchers hope this new antibiotic will be able to fight bacteria that are resistant to drugs currently available on the market. Vancomycin-resistant enterococci, otherwise known as VRE, is commonly found in hospitals. It can cause dangerous infections and is resistant to the antibiotic vancomycin. Scientists have modified the vancomycin drug to overcome this resistance and added two ways to kill the bacteria. The modified vancomycin is reportedly a thousandfold more powerful than before and has been able to kill the VRE bacteria in lab tests. Although the test results seem promising, UK experts warn that the modified drug is not effective against all types of drug-resistant bacteria. What are the symptoms of necrotizing fasciitis? An Indianapolis woman died two months after contracting necrotizing fasciitis, commonly known as flesh-eating bacteria, while on vacation in Florida. According to Tech Times, 50-year-old Carol Martin was misdiagnosed by doctors twice. It wasn't until her third visit to the hospital after her condition had become serious did physicians realize it was flesh-eating bacteria. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, necrotizing fasciitis is a serious bacterial infection that spreads quickly and kills the body's soft tissue. People with flesh-eating bacteria usually begin to display symptoms within a couple of hours after an injury. Symptoms may seem like another injury or illness. Some people complain of a pulled muscle like pain or soreness. The skin may also get warm and form red or purplish areas of inflammation that rapidly spread. Later symptoms can include fever, chills, fatigue, and vomiting. 
If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, seek immediate medical attention. That, or you can hack off the affected area. How gut bacteria could be affecting your brain. You ever get a gut feeling about something? Recent studies have been looking at the link between the gut, specifically the microbiome, and its effects on the brain. How could gut microbes be affecting and reaching the brain? One possible route is through the vagus nerve, the connection between the brain and the gut. Another possibility is that gut bacteria break down fiber into short-chain fatty acids that can have effects throughout the body. Brain disorders have been linked to the immune system, and with 70 to 80 percent of the immune system located in the gut, treating the microbiome could be vital to finding effective cures. In the future, treatment for conditions like depression and anxiety could include alterations to the gut microbiome.